parents from the old generation, not the old generation, I'm not talking about the 1800s, I'm talking about like the 1950s, let's say, 1970s, 1980s, they were all treated a different way. The way they were treated is, this is how it is, this is the way we were brought up, this is exactly how it's going to be with my kids. Someone doesn't listen, we're going to smack him, we're going to, we're going to teach him a way that we were taught. That's not how it is this generation. set up shop because we think that the youth really have a message, a progressive message, a good message, a message which is forging the way forward. And we are listening ears, we want to hear from you. Without the youth, there's no future. You know, I, I usually, I've been going to Yeshiva for around 10 years now, I, I never put, took that extra step. Unfortunately, most schools, they don't have the tools and resources to deal with the problem. So what they'll do right away is uh, throw the kid out. For and you have no idea what's going on at home. You have no idea what this kid had in yeshiva. I've seen, I've seen the glow, joy, and beauty in, in Yiddishkeit in, in many ways. But when it's been done wrong, I feel like I don't want to be part of something that's amazing, that's not right. Well, I think that if there was a lot of more love, understanding, and warmth in the Jewish communities, with parents understanding their children, it would go a very long way. Say that you are in the driver's seat of your own journey. You can't take his problems and put it in your own situation. You gotta put it in his situation. You gotta put yourself in his spot. That's the only way you'll understand him in this generation. Unconditional love is, I love this person because he's a human being. And we make him connect and feel at home. And over here, you know, I, I look forward to something. So it's not as complicated as you may think. Go out there, give someone a hug, and tell them that they're okay.